Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals. If this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. And speaking of subscribers, when I reach 500 sus subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. And um, I would love to give a shout out to Michelle, Joyce, and Deborah. I appreciate each and every one of you. And today we're going to do a collage. And I selected these items that I would like to collage with today with y'all. And this is the base that we're going to collage on top of. I mounted this onto a manila uh, folder. So it's firm. And it's kind of crinkling up a little bit on us. And I just thought we would put these, break these up and put these here and there and maybe decorate with some little birdies and some words, some stamps maybe a little bit later and we could try that just so again. I think that's quite fun, that stuff, and we just need to try a little bit more of it. So let's go ahead and tear down our piece of paper and let's begin. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and things are going fine and if not I hope they soon will be it's uh, very chilly out there today and very damp it rained yesterday and they thought it might snow today but it's um it's not really snowing but it was um, spitting some stuff a little bit ago I'm just going to put some things here and there and uh, we need to ink them up. Where is my ink? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I found my ink and I went ahead and mixed a little bit of the um, Elmer's glue or just uh, school glue with a little bit of water so it's, um, it's a little easier to apply and we're just going to Lay some down and start doing this process. You have to begin somewhere, right? Right. So let's do that. Don't want to put too much glue down. I don't want it to be all wet so that we can't go ahead and make our tags today out of these. Decorate our tags up. I need a glue book, don't I guys? Okay. I want to leave a little bit of the background down because I want, I mean, I, that's not what I wanted to say. I want to leave a little bit of the background showing because I think it is very pretty and just put a little bit of the added pieces on today. Well, you know what? <laughs> I don't do that a lot. We have to ink it. Not that we really need to ink this because this is pretty dark, but we will go ahead and do a little bit. So I'm going to collage away and I will be right back to show you what we have got put together so we can cut our tags. Alrighty, this is what I've gotten done so far. I put some book pages down, some doilies, and a little bit of this pretty print right here. This is some paper that I dyed with beets. And so it's a beautiful color. And let's just tear some down here and let's go ahead and add a few pieces of this because it's such a beautiful color. Just randomly we're going to put some. Alrighty now. And then we're going to have to ink it up. Alrighty. So I'm 
almost have this all laid down. It is just turning out so beautiful. Such a beautiful color palette this is. I think this will be just lovely. Get this all done on here. Here down on this little corner. A little bit more glue. Then let's have a look at it. Oh, scrumptious. Oh my goodness. Is that not beautiful? That is so beautiful. I do see a little spot here that I would like to add just a little bit more of this beautiful color. Maybe right here going sideways. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to put a little ink on the edge. Lay it right here. Oh my. So yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I think what we should do now is put a few stamps on it. Um, so let me put my glue away. I pulled out a couple of different stamps. I have this beautiful stamp and I have this one. I thought maybe we could use those. So I'm hoping that this color of ink is going to be dark enough to stand out on this collage. i move this right here. Oh yes, that's lovely. Very nice. Let's do another one. Maybe right here. That didn't come out as well. What happens is, is that we've collaged, and so there's different layers of paper, and it's hard to get this stamp to go onto the bottom layer. It just kind of lays its ink down on the top layer and not the bottom layers. Yeah, you can't see that one much at all. So let's try over here. Maybe these words may come out a little bit. No, not really. Let's go back to this one because I do think this one's working fine. Yes. Oh yes, that's nice. We'll just have to put it here and there, kind of tip it so it has an opportunity to grab the grab the paper. Here we are. Okay guys, I think that turned out nice. Let me show you how that looks. Yummy, right? Oh my. So let's go ahead and cut these into tags and then we can decorate our tags. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys, let me show you what beautiful pieces we have. There's this one and this one and this one. I you hear my little puppy crying. She says she just woke up from a nap. She wants something to eat. Her name is Frankie Francine. There we are. Little tiny pieces as well. Oh, you guys, I love them. Okay, let's do some corner cuts on them and start decorating. All right, so we've got the corners cut. So now let's just put a little ink, ink it up just a little bit. I think these are going to need maybe some lace and 
definitely a hole in the top and some pull, or maybe just just some sewn gauze on it. Let's see, we need some green color. Let's get um, let's get this big old sack out. Let's see what we have in this sack. Uh, that piece. Put this in my lap and let me dig around in here for just a second. I think this might be nice for a pull even. Get this all out. This keeps coming. And we have some of this lovely net. Oh, and some more of that lovely lace. We're just using pieces, which is great because we always have pieces to use. Here's some more of that material. Do you think we have enough yet? Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got these cute little things. I don't know if they're the right color or not. These little roses. They came on a... Uh, they came on something because they've got glue on the back. I've ripped them off of something. Something somewhere. All right, I think we have enough to work with. Stick this all back in here. That's a lot to work with. Do we want to put a little, little birdie on here? Isn't he cute? Look at him. He's got a spear with Kind of looks like birdie bodies <laughs> that are roasted. Oh, I don't know. He's a chef, but he's cooking birds. I don't know about that, guys. But um, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of strange. We can maybe layer up some things here. Maybe like that. That's looking nice. Let's go ahead and get this put down and like a, oh oh you know what guys we didn't gesso do you want to gesso a little oh let's do see I keep mine in this container I haven't I haven't decorated my container yet and um let's see if I can get it off real quick oh my and I put some plastic wrap over the top is what was suggested it's like it's just like marshmallow cream you guys i don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not but mine is it's just so a little bit i have no idea guys but we're doing it whoa 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 i came right on up we're gonna have to fix that oh this is pretty fun Yes, I do like it a lot. Okay, let's cover that up while I fix this. Easy peasy to fix. Our glue just came, our whole base came off of our... That's easy enough to fix. Let's do a little bit more over here. You guys, I think that looks super cool. All right, let's um, let's continue on. Let's continue on with um, decorating this tag. Let's. Where did we? Where did our little fella go? A fella that cooks. Oh no! Where has he gone? He has flown away, guys. He's flown away. Oh no. Okay, he is hiding underneath the gesso. Okay, so get this all up here on my glue book. Once again, my table is filling up with all kinds of stuff. I think we're going to put him on this side because I really like this flower on the other side. I like this flower right here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. 
Okay, I think we're going to put a strip down here like this. We need to get our fabric fusion and cut measure, eyeball it. Yes, I know I said I like that flower, but I think you'll be able to still see that flower a little bit through this. Oh my goodness, you guys, so cute. Once you start laying stuff down, you get to this point. Kind of looks like snow, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, it does. It looks like a little bit of snow. That's beautiful. Might put some down here. Just like that. Take these little strings off. I don't need those strings. Lay that down. And I'm going to just cut right here. And I'm going to cut right here. Just like that. And I'm going to cut right over here. Oh my gosh. Isn't he adorable? Okay, so let's do another one and let this one dry just a little bit. There's this one right here. You want to just sew it a little bit? Oh, why not, you guys? It's something new we're playing with, so make you some gesso, make you some marshmallow cream. And have a play with it. It's really quite fun. I bought these plastic tools at Walmart yesterday, and they were only like two something, very inexpensive. And I bought them on the aisle that has the paint in the craft section. There, just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. We might want one a little bit maybe over here. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Okay, guys, cover that up. And... Um, let me wipe my table. Alrighty, what do we want to put on this one? We have this pretty bird, and we have this pretty bird. Ooh, which one do we like the best? This tag is left right here. Look, we've got a sparkle already on there. How'd that get on there? I don't know. Oh, it probably came from the fabric bag. Okay. I kind of like that one on there and this one on here. Alright, let's go ahead. I reached over. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to ink this. Well, I have it in my hand. I'm going to ink this too so I don't forget. And I tend to do that sometimes. And we need to ink the card as well. So pretty. I mean, so pretty. Maybe we could put this fellow like right there. Yes, I like that a great deal. Let's get us a new sheet so we don't get all stuck everywhere and get our birdie down he's got a little bit of music behind him do you see that oh my gosh you guys it's so much fun. You, you really got to make yourself some gesso. Maybe you already have gesso. I mean, I had to make mine. I can't find it in stores here. And then you have to order it. And, you know, the way things are, you may get it soon or you may not. And so it was like, you know what? I'll just make my own. And so can you. Like I say, it's just a cleanup that's really yucky. Only the cleanup. Making it's not at all. But the cleanup is kind of icky. We're just sticking. Maybe I'll put it right there. Kind of 
Come on, Mr. Glue. Mrs. Glue. The Glue. Come on, come on down. Uh oh, it's frayed right there, so I'm going to put the fray on the bottom. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love it. I absolutely love every single thing about it. Okay, let that one dry. And we've got one more right here. And uh, well, we have more, but we're not going to make any more. This is enough for the video. You get the idea. Exactly get the idea. Maybe we can put this down here on the bottom to give it weight. And put the birdie up on top a little bit. But we want to gesso it, don't we? Oh yeah, let's gesso. Let's do that gesso thing. Okay. We just kind of put it down. It's coming up. We'll just gesso it down. Put some gesso underneath and gesso it down. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's so much fun. So much fun. I'm going to slip my lid on real quick so that I don't dry out my gesso. That would be heartbreaking. Okay, I want my palette off just very quickly. This one has a little bit more dimension to it. Can you see it has just a little bit more dimension? It's kind of like wallpaper paste or caulking, something like that, except the texture is definitely marshmallow cream or marshmallow fluff, whatever they call that stuff now. I'm not sure what they call it now. I don't even use it anymore. I used to when I was younger. I used to like to make peanut butter sandwiches with it, but I, I don't now. <laughs> I don't need that now. Oh, but I used to. Okay, we'll just put that right over the top, just like that. And we're going to put this here to weight, give it a little weight on the tag. Put the weight on the bottom. That's lovely. And maybe something soft going down the side. We can soften it up here. Put the bigger piece on the bottom. Mm, we can pull that back up and put it underneath there. I'd like it, but I don't want that heavy piece on top of the light piece. I'd like, I mean, I'd like the, this to be above. So, Let's put a little more glue down. I'd have forgot how far up we that's going. Let's put this down just like that. There we go. This went, yeah, we can go ahead and add a little bit more glue. there. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, um, let's do a poll. Let's, um, actually the darker, do I have a darker one? I thought I had a darker poll. We could just, where's the end of this? Oh my goodness. Here's the end. Let's get rid of the glue book. We don't need the glue book anymore. And, um, oh goodness, I lost the end. <laughs> Kathy. All right, let's cut us off a piece. Just cut yourself off a piece. And let's glob us on a little bit of glue right here at the tip. Just like that at the top, I mean, not the tip. The top. The tip top. How about that? The tip top. And let's just put this on. I don't mean glob it, I mean just kind of glob it on there. Oh, they're sticking to each other, guys. We've got the sticks. They're sticking to each other. The birds got the sticks. Okay, we're going to give it a little sew on there. 
Oh my goodness, so cute. Now we need to do, oh my gosh, you guys, this is coming up again. Get that laid down there. Now let's put, um, let's put something else on here. We actually can put this on here. We don't need that much though. Maybe we'll cut this in half. And put a little glue. Everything's sticking to my hands. My hands have glue on them. Imagine that, right? Imagine that. Imagine your hands having glue. Alrighty, we're just going to put that like that on there. Oh, I can get my finger off. I hear my puppy again. She's in her what I call a little corral. I gave her something to eat. Otherwise, the other doggy down there will say, Oh, can I have your food? And then there's, it's on like Donkey Kong. Because Frankie's not going to put up with any of that. She may be little, but she is fierce. She's a, she's a, um, whoa, what breed? She's a terrier. The terriers don't put up with much. I think we better cut that in half. I might have to go get her. She's telling me she's finished and she wants out, isn't she? Let's lay that down just like that. I need to go wash my hands anyway. I can't seem to do anything. Look, I've got lace hanging off of my finger. <laughs> uh, it's a mess. I got a mess going on. Okay. Oh my goodness. Because we got to add some bling. We're not finished with these beautiful tags. Okay, guys, let's look at what we have so far. I stitched around the edges. I stitched the tag on. I did a little stitch right here on that beautiful colored beet paper. And this one, this guy just cracks me up. He's a chef and he's a little bit of a cannibal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we need a little bit of bling. Okay, everyone, I grabbed some pretty little flowers. I grabbed some pink bling, some pearls, and some gold, and some deeper gold that's just a little bigger, and some pink um, bows. I thought maybe. We also have these pretty pink, um, these. Uh, roses that I, oh, I pulled them off something. I don't know what it was, but I did. Oh my gosh, you guys. And this is turning out so adorable. I love that with the, with that color of body. I think those are beautiful. Then we need to lay some bling down. Oh yes, this guy gets this bling. So Let's open this up because this is the perfect color for him. Let's get this going here, guys. Oh, I am so excited. Once again, guys, we have pulled it off. We have made our own background with our collage. Cut it, stamped it, cut it up. We even gessoed it. Doing that new gesso thing we've got going on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. It has turned out spectacular. And I get so excited when everything just turns out so beautiful. When it starts off and it just looks like it's just, you know, ah, what, what have we done? And then it just turns out so beautiful. I just love that. I do. I love that so much. Oh my goodness. What do y'all think of that? I think that's precious. So precious. All right, there's that one. Now this one, let's put this here and let's go ahead and use some, some pink on it, some pink bling. So let's get this down and 
let's put this rose on there. Um, the bling. Um, I'm not real sure. How about if we just put it right here? Right across here on our our bird that likes to cook. <laughs> oh, that's all we'll say. He just likes to cook. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Get that down. Get this one down. this to be a little more even. Oh my goodness, you guys. He's adorable. Absolutely adorable. I love the gesso. Do you guys love the gesso? I love the gesso. Look at this beautiful little ribbon bow on here to bring out that pink and then let's put some uh, pearls on this one let's do some pearls let's do some pearls right down here just like that oh i have to open this up And get some pearls on here. Oh my. Oh, it's so precious. So we've got this one, and we've got this one, and we've got, let's see if I can get it on my hands, this one. You guys, if you've had as much fun as I have had, uh, please drop me a little note. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.